but to take a bunch of community feedback and then rework the entire proposal, put it up, see it passing, getting close to the finish line, bang, here comes the hack and hammer. You know, that's discouraging. Hakna is paying close attention to what's being talked about in the Kusumerians AG livestream and their only method of communication is on-chain remarks to prevent platforms like Polka Assembly or Subsquare from tracking down their IP address or any sort of information. There are also a lot of new referendums related to infrastructures which didn't get hackened yet. In today's OpenGov episode, we'll find out what's going on right now on Kusama. Let the chaos begin. Welcome to today's video. If it's your first time here, my name is Claudio and this is Cryptos Chain. I'm going to start with the treasurer track where apparently there's no limit to the amount of KSM that can be requested from the treasury, unlike with the tipper and spender tracks. Now a fake hacking account which used the vanity address feature to generate a public address that begins with the initials Hakna has created referendum 191 which contains no description but does contain a remark text and they're obviously fascinated by Hakna's way of communicating because they claim to be the guardians and forming some sort of Hakna cult. What's interesting is that they added an argument with some hash and then added another argument with some kind of decryption method to use. Now I'm about to release the spoiler so if you want to do some deciphering yourself don't watch the next 30 seconds. Shout out to Coin Studio who runs a validator on Kusama and who was able to decipher this. Now this is the message if you don't mind the spoiler. Bounty 16 no me gusta, which means I don't like it in Spanish. Bounty 19 Daraku, investigate no value, use gov. Apparently Daraku and Kitsune are linked to Japanese anime and manga. So this referendum creator is definitely into these. They also have meanings as those that were added. As you can see here, they also mentioned this referendum 175 raised by Paradox, but this is just a troll and not a real Hakna, unless it's an old account created by Hakna themselves just to communicate in a different way, though I highly doubt it. The referendum is currently feeding with over 9k KSM against and zero in favor. It's also stuck in a preparation stage because nobody has added a decision deposit of 33.33 KSM. Moving on to the big tipper track with referendum 185 by Limo, which is related to tipping the user polka beat for measuring the decentralized of parachains, the sum of 33 KSM. He's also known as Asynchronous Phil in the community and he created a cool website where you can see if parachains meet certain criteria. However, Limo has made a slight mistake in selecting the wrong extrinsic with treasury.propose spend instead of treasury.spend and Hakna was very quick to react with another big tipper request that uses the correct extrinsic in referendum 185 and has added the same remark as Limo but added the correction word right at the end which is also tipping Asynchronous Phil from Polkabit. Now this referendum has also attracted some heated debate from Anael who works for Parity in that because the extrinsic contained the words love from AEG was seen as advertising the show and the Kusumerian channel by means of using the treasury and then there were some more comments back and forth. If you want to check them out yourself you can do so under Polk Assembly. To get back to the situation with the two referendums number 184 raised by Limo with the wrong extrinsic is failing to almost 75,000 KSM in A whereas referendum 185 by Hakna which uses the correct extrinsic is passing with over 60,500 in favor, uh, but surprisingly attracted some strong nay votes of over 10.7k. Moving on to the medium spender truck referendum 178 by Brushfram, who's the company of developers working to build tools around the Ink Smart contract, which is meant to be native to Polkadot's ecosystem, are looking for funds to cover the cost for delivering milestones 3 and 4 for development of the Soul to Ink tool, which allows developers to easily convert Solidity code to Ink. For the non-techies, the code that Ethereum smart contracts are written in to native Polkadot smart contract code so that you can easily port those smart contracts over with some minimal changes required to fix any conflicts in the code. Now the team are looking for 1868 KSM for this which is worth approximately $46,000 right now and the referendum has gotten hacked. Getting close to the finish line, bang, here comes the hacking hammer. And aside from that, another large holder of over 6k KSM has voted nay against them and there are 5 days and 43 minutes left before decision. Referendums 179, 182, 183 and 189 are all infrastructure related and I assume because referendum 179 is not for retroactive funding they got hacked as well. However, I had a quick look through their proposal and saw that they delivered Milestone 1, so this is actually funding for them to work on Milestone 2, but nope, Hakna is not letting them have this one. So it's failing with over 54,000 KSM in E votes and almost 7.8K in I votes and has 5 days and 8 hours left before decision is made. 
Referendum 182 by Supercomputing are also requesting funding between May and July, so they're not retroactive, but it seems Hakna has not used the Thor hammer on them just yet. They're asking for 1446 KSM, which is worth approximately 35.5k, and has gotten over 33,000 KSM in I votes and only 4.3k KSM in knee votes, and there are 10 days left before decision. Referendum 183 by On Finality is doing very well and has also avoided the hack and hammer for now. They're asking for 1835 KSM, which is worth approximately 45k for infrastructure costs, and they got over 75k in I votes with 1.3k in knee votes. And there are also 10 days left before decision. And Stake World, which is the last infrastructure related proposal in the medium spender track, with referendum 189, is looking for 665 KSM for funding, which is worth approximately 16.3K. Stake World's RPC snapshot and boot node services, which was getting funding from a previous bounty that ended, it got over 27,000 Kusama and I votes and over 10K KSM in knee votes. And there are 12 days and 11 hours left before decision. And looking at the big spender trucks, Referendum 180, which belongs to Web3 Group, and which is asking for 4,701 KSM, which is worth approximately $115,000, for organizing four hackathons as well as a conference in Mexico City. Their account is not verified, also the team don't have any reputation in the ecosystem, and they're mostly trying to sell the idea that they've been mentioned by Cointelegraph. Also, Abdul B, who's working as an auditor for these referendums, as I used to work alongside with him for a while and know he does a good job, has given them a low audit score of minus six and what caught my attention is that they didn't wait for the full seven days for the community feedback in the discussions phase also the budget was not broken down into details which is a concern to me because there's no preventing a team from pocketing some money for themselves so when it comes to these hackathons we should see a full breakdown of catering costs audio visuals cameraman prizes etc and then the last red flag is the lack of reporting of how the information from the hackathon will get presented. Also, the team members were not introduced. So these audits are really good to give us a quick breakdown uh, when we want to see what's missing or what's good about a specific proposal. I would likely be in support of a hackathon if all the details were broken down and it also go to the Polkadot Treasury due to the large amounts required to actually fund it, usually in the six figures. I therefore voted nay for this one and finally referendum on itself which has no details in the description whatsoever and who also made a mistake in the extrinsic by not creating a treasury.spend pre-image. Limo from KSDAO also commented to say he noticed that they're asking for 6,550 KSM, which is worth around 160K right now, and he'll likely be coming back as he left a comment, and we can see uh, that his account is actually linked to Kotzer Marine Industries, which is linked to DStore, an e-commerce for DGENs. They also held the Twitter spaces recently with Astar Degens on Twitter, so let's wait and see what they'll launch soon. Uh, not that our vote matters for this one because the extrinsic is wrong anyway, but I voted nay. And for a quick look at the state of the treasury, 1,545 KSM will be spent in this round, which is worth approximately $38,000, and 605.7 KSM will be burned, which is worth approximately 14.9K, with 301,324 KSM left, to be spent, which is worth approximately 7.4 million. That's been it from today's Open Gov News. Thanks as always for watching, and let me know why you plan to vote down in the comments below if you are happy to share. Also, please don't forget to like the video to help it get to more people and share it with the people who you think can find this of value. Till next time.